I'm looking for a new family, honestly, because my family has disregarded me. You know, they did a ceremony in the African context of when you are gay or you commit suicide, they perform a certain ritual that people don't want to associate themselves with you. So to me, they performed it, like burned my clothes. They destroyed my things. They have sold my, my, like my commercial plots in town. Some of the things that I bought, they have sold my things, meaning they don't want to associate themselves with me. So I don't have a family in Kenya. I don't have support in Kenya. I don't have friends in Kenya. The law of Kenya is against homosexuality. If you are gay and found having sex with this, you know, person of the same gender, you are you are you go in you are jailed for 14 years people need to understand you know being w what we mean by sexual preference and sexual orientation i think that is the big thing that africans are struggling with um so if they come to the fullness of understanding what is sexual preference and what is sexual orientation i think they can distinguish that and not demonize people and i think it is just homophobic you know being brought from, from where, I just don't know because people say it is a Western thing. But honestly speaking, it's not a Western thing because I have done research and I find out that in the African context, we have some terms that they use to refer to people who are having sex, people of the same sex having sex. And so it is something buried down that they don't want to bring it up, you know, and yet it is there. When I came out, a close friend of mine heard about my coming out and they demonized it, you know, they started calling me that um, I'm evil, I'm possessed. And they treat me as someone who is suffering from mental illness. I can say like what Paul says, a thorn in the flesh, something that disturbed me for many years. And so I wanted this thing to come out, but it didn't come out. It is something that I have grown up with like my entire life. The first time I discovered that I was gay, it was far away in high school. And I was being attracted to men sexually, those who dress well and they smile at me, they look nice, you know, it, it was just me. I would go to people to ask, I have these feelings about my sexual desires. How am I going to do it? So most of the time people advised me to pray and fast because they were telling me that it's a demon. Um, and so I believed maybe, you know, uh, people who are heterosexual and they engage themselves into um k sex it is an abomination it is it is a curse so i was praying god to lift this curse away from me so it has been so difficult for me to reconcile my faith to reconcile my culture and my sexual orientation you know people refer me to books like leviticus it is wrong for people to be together have sex with the same gender and then they quote so much what Paul said. Um, but you know, they don't look into the, to the culture of that time, the context and the content. Why did Paul say this? Or why did Leviticus, why did the writer of Leviticus write this? So they take the scriptures literally the way it is and they want to apply it. Maybe it was that time, it is not this time. So right now I'm operating as a refugee not on student status, but student vis-a-vis -vis refugee. So I can't assure you like I'll be going home right now, but I do love my country and I want to go back and support my country, but I have no means of going back because of the fear uh, that I have for my life. Sort of like my, I have shifted my <laughs> minds to be here and to look for the quick organization and work with or the quicker church to support me and to be there. Hakuna, hakuna mungu kama wewe Nakuwa budu, nakuwe shimu Hakuna kama wewe Nakuinua, nakubariki Hakuna kama wewe